Um, and so that, that value of kindness brings me to Sarah Circle. Sarah Circle is an organization that exudes kindness. They understand that the way to, to meet someone's needs is when they first experience kindness, it opens them up to, to the world of possibilities for their lives. They start saying, you know what? I, I can maybe take that next step. And it's oftentimes a very brave step, a very difficult step. But as with encouragement they have from their case manager and that kindness that is shown to them, um, it helps to create positive change. We need more Sarah Circles in the United States. If, if I had my wish, we'd place the Sarah Circle right next door to the White House. <laughs> because they emanate kindness, and this nation needs more kindness. Um, I want to end with this story. It, 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 um, it really speaks to the kindness that I see from uh, all those who have some affiliation with Sarah Circle. Um, I was on the train Friday. I had just read the email that I was supposed to give a speech um, <laughs> by Kathy. And I looked at it, and um, a man, I was on the red line, and a man walked through the train, through the, one of the doors, and he was asking for money because he himself was experiencing homelessness. And I've known this man a long time, and I've had many different conversations with him. And um, I, I talked with him about uh, going from a, I, well, when I spoke with him last time, he's told me that the only clothes he has were the clothes he's wearing. Can you imagine that? The only thing, the, your only possessions that you have are just what you're wearing. And I told him, right now he's staying in an overnight shelter. That means he enters a shelter at 7 p.m. and he has to leave at 7 a.m. And so I wanted to extend the, um, to him the, the perhaps that he should choose a transitional shelter, like Sarah Circle has, um, uh, so he can stay there even when he's sick, so that he could have his own chest of drawers and, and store his own clothing. Well, it, as I was speaking to him, a woman directly across from me on the CTA train said to that man, listen, listen to what he's saying. You really need a transitional shelter. I once was homeless, and I experienced a transitional shelter from Sarah's circle, and it changed my life. I am alive today because of Sarah's circle. She said that. But the other thing she said was more powerful. She said to that man and looked at him and said, you deserve this. She extended an act of kindness uh, to this man. And that man had a huge smile on his face. Because the reality is we all deserve it. We all deserve kindness. I am so thankful for all of you here coming today. You are, you are uh, warriors of kindness. Um, in our world today, kindness is oftentimes perceived as weakness. Uh, men especially, we're seen as weak. I think it's because it's oftentimes viewed as a feminine characteristic. But these women are telling us right now, being kind, you're being a warrior. Kindness is for the brave of heart. And so thank you for being brave. Thank you for your kindness. And together, we are going to change the world. Thank you, Sarah Sarko. Thank you, James.